today we're going to Ceausescu's home, who is the former um, Communist Party leader of Romania. Ceausescu's home was built in the 1960s and was enlarged between 1970 and 1972. For the interior part, a lot of the ornamental pieces that you see on the walls, everything made out of wood, those woods were made out of native woods, such as oak, sycamore, cherry, and walnut, and exotic woods, such as mahogany, rosewood, African pear, and Canadian cherry. Nicolae Ceausescu's mansion was also called the Golden Palace or the Spring Palace. The Golden Palace name came because so many things in his palace were made of gold, even including sinks and toilets, as well as many details that you will see throughout this video. Nicolae Ceausescu also had a big fixation on chess and loved playing chess, to which almost every room had a chess set in it. His most grandiose chess set was this one in his office, where the chess set, the pieces, and even the chairs have gold on them. He also boasted a large collection of ivory gifts that were given to him, as well as many different statues, statuettes, and many paintings throughout his whole home. This is Valentin Ceausescu's suite, one of Ceausescu's children, his son, and it is a very luminous room because the walls had silk that was integrated into it with a colored wood paneling behind it to give it two tones of different colors. After one of Nicolae Ceausescu's visits to Japan where he also received this painting as a gift, he also really fell in love with pheasants during his visit there. Nicolae Ceausescu's bathroom was probably the most beautiful bathroom and one of the most beautiful rooms in all of the house with gold pieces all over the bathroom as well as pink marble. The main hall was made to impress guests coming into the home, also showing off his obsession with peacocks. Nicolae Ceausescu was diabetic and was known to like to eat peasant food, which was a lot of commoner food that was filled with vegetables. Most of the glass pieces that you see within this house, chandeliers, wall pieces made of glass, and mirrors are made in Venetia and in Murano, made of Murano glass. But most of the things in this house, Ceausescu wanted to have made in Romania. About 90% of them were. And about 10% of them were given as gifts from what was known as the Orient back then, as well as Great Britain, the US, Japan, China, Russia, and many more. This was Elena Ceausescu's suite. You can see in her suite, as well as other people's suites, these books that have leather on them. She also had a very fancy room. Elena Ceausescu was known to be a very mean and cruel woman, a very cold woman. Um, but she really liked being fancy, gaudy, and showing off her wealth and trying to show status. So her room definitely reflects that. And she was very big on having some kind of nature aspect, plant aspect in her room. This is Zoya Ceausescu's suite, the daughter of Elena Nicolae Ceausescu. As you can tell, her room in her bathroom also has lots of gold accents as well as pink marble. In the Ceausescu home, there are about 90 rooms, in which the tour only shows you 40 rooms. Each room had a very specific design to it that was intentional, and the Zoya Ceausescu's room was an exact 
version of Mary Antoinette's room, except just much smaller. This is Elena Ceausescu's day suite, which is decorated in the Louis XV style and has a lot of arabesque design to it. A lot of the Ceausescu mansion has a lot of different Louis XV, XVI kind of styles. She also wanted the outdoors and nature incorporated into this room, so she had a fountain here with some animal statues and usually open windows. This is the Louis XVI sitting room. This room's purpose was for any invited people or friends to come over, although it is said that the Ceausescu family did not have even friends at least come to visit them. Um, but it's all designed in Louis XVI design and style. This is Elena and Nicolae Ceausescu's shared suite. Um, they wanted it to be specifically white and gold colored. It is said that they barely spent actually any time in this suite. They even had his and her sides, but they preferred their own personal ones. The walls are even carpeted. This is Nicolae and Elena Ceausescu's shared bathroom, what would be known as like the master bathroom. It also goes with the theme of white and gold to match their room. In the shower and on the ceiling, there are hundreds of thousands, if not over a million, gold leaf covered tiles. Ceausescu was highly against Western cinema and anything to do with the Western world, as well as against Christianity, but he loved watching Western movies in his private cinema, and there are two Christian motifs hidden within the house that people don't know if he knows about. Nicolae Ceausescu loved exotic plants and things from foreign countries. He had a wide collection and a variety of exotic plants from different countries that were gifted to him. Um, he really enjoyed nature and this was shown through his winter garden that he was able to enjoy. Some plants he had growing in here were birds of paradise and even an orange tree and you could even see peacocks running around. This man was obsessed with pelicans, with pe peacocks. This man was obsessed with peacocks. The swimming pool is made up of over one million tiles, and the decorations of course include pheasants, as well as more wildlife, and together it's supposed to put up and make up an image of the universe, both the earth with its abundance in nature and the universe space itself with all the planets. The Ceausescu family also had a main dressing room and a lot of the clothing actually consisted of Elena Ceausescu's clothing. There was a large collection of different outfits that were gifted to her. They had a huge mirror, all fur coats, which were all real fur coats, as well as lots of different colorful clothing that were very treasured by Elena. You can see Nicolae Ceausescu's obsession with exotic birds. Sauna and physical therapy. Physiotherapy. The spa area.
Yeah, very interesting to see, very strange to see, especially since we know so much about this guy and I like how many terrible things he did and how he even hurt our family personally and family members, but yeah, it was very interesting. Um, the fees are $45 for an adult, not 45, 45 lei Romanian money for an adult, so that's like not even $11. And um, for students, I think it's 35 or like something like that half price.